Hey, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today is Tuesday, January 14th. It is about 5.27 p.m. And I just wanted to share a quick uh, couple of verses with you. God has been putting something on my heart. Um, and I'll let you know what it is after I read these verses. So the first verse is Psalm 119, verse 105. Through, uh, let me see, 105 through 112. It says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and confirmed that I will keep your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, I pray, the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies I have taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever to the very end. The next one I want to read, Matthew chapter 4, verses 12 through 17. This is uh, right when Jesus uh, started his Galilean ministry. He, uh, this happened here. Now when Jesus had heard that John had been in prison, he departed to Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, Light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And the last verse comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses uh, 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. It says here in the footnote, let your light so shine. The believer does not have inherent light. Rather, we have reflective light. As we behold the glory of the Lord, we reflect it. Therefore, we need to make sure that nothing make sure that nothing comes between us and the Lord's light. You know, I'm at work today and uh and I woke, well, I woke up this morning and, and God told me to change, take my name out of the picture and to change my YouTube channel name. So all day in my heart, in my mind, I keep seeing a beacon of light, a beacon of light shining through the darkness. You know, with darkness all around us, we need to know that there is a light, that there is a light. That's going to direct our steps. Like Jesus said at the beginning of his Galilean ministry. He said, The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. And then in Matthew chapter 5 it says, You are the light of the world. You are the light. We are the light. And so, with much reflection and thought and 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 listening to God's voice 
I, I'm changing the YouTube channel's name to A Beacon of Light. Because, you know, it's not about Anthony Trejo. It's not about anybody but Jesus. Jesus gets all the glory. You know, and I want to use this channel as a beacon of light for others to follow. A beacon of light for uh, those who are struggling with uh, learning from the Bible. You know, I'm not, I'm not very, uh, very uh, intelligent when it comes to certain things. But I know that the Holy Spirit leads. And, and God blesses you when you read His Word. You know, I always encourage you guys to read your word on your own. To find your identity. To find your way to Christ. You know, these this Bible isn't here for, self, to, for you to receive salvation or anything like that. It is the, the, the testimony of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And it will lead you to Him. It will lead you to a deeper understanding of who Jesus really is and what he did for you. So, with that said, I'm changing the name. Right after this video, I'm going to post it. I'm going to change it. And I hope you guys still stay tuned in and use this channel as a beacon of light in your life. That you use God's word as a beacon to light your path. You know, that light that shines in the darkness but brightens the whole world. You know, uh, in a spiritual sense, light is life. Darkness is death and light is life. Let Jesus' light shine upon you today. And I just want to pray, Lord, Heavenly Father, that you just continue to bless the people who watch this video, Lord God. I know that there are few, Lord God, but it is touching many people's lives. I'm not in this for fame, Father God. I'm in this to just change one person's heart. I pray for anyone who's watching right now, Father God, that you will bless their finances, bless their relationships, bless their children, bless their homes, bless their health, Father God, that they continue to look to you. They continue to trust in you because you, Father God, you are a loving Father. You are a loving God. For you made us. For you made us. And Father God, even though we're not perfect, Lord God, we seek one who is perfect. And that is your Son, Jesus Christ. So Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to bless us. Continue to touch our lives. Continue to, to, to move mountains where we struggle. And teach us to be more like you. We love you, Lord. And we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, I'm going to go ahead and let you go, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. So, God bless. Welcome to A Beacon of Light. God bless.